it appears that we'll probably peak in the coming week and our total number of people that are requiring hospitalization uh, and intensive care uh, unit um, care uh, hopefully next week uh, as um, this wave of the virus uh, reaches a peak uh, and then will defervesce o over the next three to four weeks thereafter. You know, provinces across the country look to Ontario just because there's so many people who live in, in the province uh, in terms of how this virus is, is going and the trajectory. Where do we stand right now? You're talking about the sixth wave and you know we're getting some positive signs that that may have crested. Uh, just cut through all the noise for us. What's, what's your read? Well, Todd, I, I absolutely want all Ontarians to know this is a peak of activity across Ontario right now. Um, we, we had uh, a significant wastewater signal uh, l last week. It's just started to decline. We expect um, a, a small ripple from the Easter holidays, the Passover holidays, uh, the long weekend that people had. Uh, and then subsequently, that rise in hospitalization naturally occurs after the maximum number of cases. And then uh, the last piece is, is uh, an impact on the intensive care unit. We expect all of that major impact to occur in the next seven to 10 days. Uh, and then um, uh, slowly and surely, uh, the risk will decrease uh, heading in uh, to the end of May.